Hi guys, this is Ajina Braham. Let's see how you can detect cross-site scripting vulnerabilities using Xenotix. So uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to start the payload server. So for that, you have to go to settings, then configure server, and then you have to specify the IP here. So for local testing environment, you can use a local IP, or if you keep your mouse tip over the IP field, it will tooltip all the possible IP address that can be assigned like your network IP, etc. So you, even you can provide your public IP if you want to expose it to the internet and you can select a convenient port. So in my case, I'm just using 5058, you can use any port. So basically uh, this Xenotex payload server is responsible for uh, serving payloads both for the scan modules as well as for the exploitation modules. So you have to configure it first. So here there is an option semi-persistent hook. Uh, we will talk about this when we go into the exploitation modules. Here there is no any significance for this for scanning. So let's start the server at my localhost IP and this port number. So once it is started, you can see a text box here. So basically these are all for exploitation purpose and demonstration, etc. So uh, as of now, we are not interested in this. So let's hide it. So if you want to stop the server, you can just again go to settings and then configure server, then click on stop to stop the server. But uh, we need the server to be running at this time. So let's hide it. So once you start the server on the bottom of the tool, you can see that the server is running at uh, this particular IP and this particular port number. And Synotex is powered by almost uh, 4,800 plus payloads. So if you want to view the payloads, you can go to auxiliary and then go to view access payloads. So basically that will list out all the payloads used by Synotex. Here it is. Yes. So these are all the 4,800 plus payload that is used by Xenotix. Uh, let's close it. The scanner module. The scanner module consists of a lot of modules, uh, sub modules for detecting cross site scripting. So uh, here we have the, for basic get request, we have the manual mod, auto mod, multiple parameter scanner in case you have multiple parameters. Then uh, more advanced things like get request fuzzer, post request fuzzer, advanced request fuzzer, so and so. So let's go through each of them. So before that, you have to get familiar with the interface. So here there is a field called the browse. So basically it's like a browser address bar. You can just give any URL here and you can hit go. It will be browsed or rendered in all the three different browser engines. Again, we have a field called payload. So basically this field will display the payload that is being used during a request is being placed. So now you can see a field called the URL and then a blank field. So uh, you, in case you have URLs where you want to append the payload at the end of the URL, you can use this. So for that, you can specify the URL with the parameter here and uh, the payload will be added at the end. So these two fields are used for uh, manual mode as well as auto mode. No other modules will be using this. So uh, before that, let's get familiar with URL. Uh, now we have a URL which is having different parameters like page, uh, locally, etc. So uh, answers is a value for this particular parameter page. En is the value for this particular parameter locally. So uh, let's use a search field like uh, let's give the not x. Now uh, you can see that your the value we just given had come up as the value of another parameter question. So uh, this can be a possible field of injection for cross-site scripting. So we need to test that. So this is one point where uh, the value is assigned to a particular parameter. Let's see another URL. So let's give the search name genotics. So you can see that uh, here it's a part of the URL. It's uh, coming directly as a part of the URL. So there are a different kind of uh, URL controllers which define URLs in different ways. So here uh, again, you can see that it is 
not coming as a value of any parameter but rather than that it is coming as a part of the url so this is also one uh, injection point where you want to test whether there is process scripting okay so i think you are familiar with the urls there are even different types of urls okay now uh, let's go back to synotics and uh, so we will be first going through manual mode and auto mode so let me explain what is manual mode so manual mode allows you to test process scripting on a url by appending the payload at the end which needs your manual intervention that means you need to manually uh, select each payloads okay so let's uh, copy the url yeah this is a url come back to synotics paste it in the url field now uh, normally if you want to test this particular parameter question just remove the part up to uh, the value synotics okay now uh, as i told before the payload will be appended at the end of the url so either you can give this particular parameter here or you can just cut it from here and you can copy and paste it here for more clarity it's not mandatory that you should give the parameter here itself you can give at the end of the url and if you want to say suppose you want to test the particular parameter locally you can just move it towards the end of the url so that the payload will get appended at the end so uh, this is for more clarity actually now you go to the scanner module then go to manual mode so this is the manual mode here there is 4808 payloads so you have to move through each payloads so once you click on scan the first payload will be inserted and the result will be reflected in the three different browser engine and you can click on next for the next payload so this is what i told you need to manually move through each payloads so this is the second payload so like this you can just navigate through different payloads until you find uh, one particular payload that will get reflected or that will get injected in the context so uh, as i told before you can see the particular payload being shown here and now you got an injection see so uh, here you can just shift between different browsers you can keep right hand away you can just keep webkit away so it, that's all depends on you or based on the web application and the scenario so you can just switch between different browser engine so let me switch only to webkit similarly uh, we have the auto mode so basically the only difference between auto mode and manual mode is that here we can specify a time interval and each payload will be injected on that particular time interval so click on scan to start the scan so basically at every five seconds the payload will be injected and if you want to pause the scan you can click on pause and in between if you want to continue the scan you can click on continue and if you want to skip a particular payload you can just keep on pressing skip that will basically skip the payload and if you want to jump to a particular payload at a different uh, index you can just use skip to and you can mention the payload index number and then press ok that will jump to that particular payload and so on so this is how you can use the manual mode so once you start uh, scanning with manual mode this will keep on going and whenever there is an injection a pop-up will be coming up so this is how you can use the auto mode you also have a multiple parameter scanner so uh, this allows us to test urls which are having multiple parameters so each of these parameters will be taken separately and will be tested so uh, for example consider this url so it is having a lot of parameter and say suppose you want to test each parameter for cross-site scripting so you can just give the url here and then click on get parameters so this will list out all the parameters in the url so once you are done with that if you want to add some parameter you can click on add and then give the parameter name and then press on ok and if you want to remove some parameter click on that particular parameter and click on remove that will remove the parameter and if you want to clear all this parameter then you can press on clear and uh, in order to start scanning you can press start so it is much like the previous auto mode and the only difference is that each of these parameter will be tested so first 
the particular parameter page will be tested with all the 4808 payloads and then start over will be tested and then locally will be tested and then question will be tested and so on so you click on start will be uh, listing out all the parameters in the tested uh, field so once uh, uh, so here once the particular parameter page is tested a check will a checkbox will appear here and then once the start over is tested another checkbox will uh, appear along to that so uh, and so on so this is how uh, this particular mode works so let's close it in the future version of synoptics these three features will be depreciated get request for server will alone be able to handle all those things